Hello, welcome to Fish Tank. Uh, this was the first ever 3D game I developed and was part of the environmental team for, as well as character development team. Um, I was also in charge of the UI as well. Uh, I was on the on the hunt for uh, the fonts and setting up a nice looking, you know, menu. Something simple, something you know, quick. Uh, so for the cutscene. It was the same same kind of thing as Plimp. It was you know quick, quick sketches, something that we could quickly throw together so we could focus mainly on the game. Um, this kind of gives you the the intro story of of why you're you end up going to this this lake. Um, so I was given the the narrative. So I came up with all all the uh, images for this. Came up with the, the you know the idea for the idea for the cutscene. Uh, because we weren't quite developed enough yet to to go ahead and do a 3D cutscene, but you know 2D works well. It tells tells a narrative, tells a story. Uh, so you play as a diver sent to to go into a cave to find your friend who has dived this this lake, um, and upon entry to the cave, as you'll see now, the rocks cave in, and you are now in in this cave with a mysterious entity. Um, I hope we don't run into the entity because, my God, it is scary. So I was part of the the environmental assets. I didn't design the map, uh, the, so the map is a series of tubes. Um, I did the the assets that that go into the map. So I I was I was part. I, I did the design the coral. I made all the coral assets. Uh, I was in charge of placing a lot of the assets as well. So the the whole map uh, placed. Um, I was in charge of the pause menu, created the pause menu, you know, we've got, it's stylized, turn the volume up and down, brightness, doesn't work, um, made the, the controls, so we've got, you know, glow stick as well, so yeah, the glow sticks, modelled, model glow sticks, glow sticks were my first 3D model, so pick up these, um, the game was also low poly, because uh, at the time Unity was, was quite slow with high and so a bit of the narrative here as well which is a, a th you know a little book divers book I made so the whole point of this game is to escape the cave so it was a it ended up being a survival horror and the gameplay mechanics were if you come across we might see one I hope we don't because they're very loud uh, a clam creature I've put some renders on my on my uh, site um they attract the the entity to you and so does using glow sticks but glow sticks i think keep him back as well i uh, can't can't quite can't quite remember because this is going back a, a couple of years now uh, and i'm going to try and make it to the end hopefully without seeing the monster because the sound behind <laughs> is very loud uh, for the environment, we did want a, a very compact space, so that when you do run into the monster, yeah, he, he gives you a scare. Um, I wasn't in charge of the map as per se, but I did end up retexturing it because the first texture that went on it wasn't great. Um, neither is this one because we were stretched for time, uh, and this was also the first experiment with normal maps. But I have taken these assets in, rejigged them, and made them look a lot more prettier than they are. Um, I do like dropping glow sticks in this though, because you know it gives you a nice, a nice kind of dark vibe. Ooh. And I'm hoping I'm going the right way. To place all the coral in the map, we couldn't afford an asset brush at the time, so it was all by hand. So in some areas, it's very sparse. Other areas, you know, it's rammed full of coral. Oh god, I really hope I don't run into him. He's on a he's on a track, so he goes around a specific specific route. And I think that's the wrong way. This this is definitely the right way. I hope. 
Oh, oh. Okay, so here's a, here's one of the clams. Oh. Uh, I'm not gonna go close because it's loud. It's very loud. Um, but yeah, they, so so they'll have, they'll have attracted him. So I'll need to get a move on quick. That loops back on itself. It's a very hard game to finish because you don't really necessarily know where you are going. I also made the particle effects in this game. Some nice little bubbles that appear. Right, let's hope. Let's hope that this is the right way. I'm going to finish this by either getting caught or or finishing it. Okay, after finding out that this, the, you know, it is literally virtually impossible to <laughs> to navigate everywhere, I've uh, just thrown the player to the end so you can kind of get a glimpse of of the end of the level. Um, you know, so you, you, this this is a, obviously the first and only bit of light you'll see in the game. Um, so you're obviously going to be very excited to see it, and somewhere should be some more clams. I mean, it is it is very refreshing having when you know when you when you play through the game and you and you get to the, get to the end. However, we can, I think we we kind of only. Boom, you've escaped. Right, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Uh, okay, so I kind of also wanted to give you a glimpse of, of the monster since I did do the character design for it. And the, the screen that comes up when he catches you. Uh, here he is. Yeah! Uh, horrific. <laughs> Absolutely horrific.